Good evening and welcome to Walking in the Scriptures and Speaking the Truth with uh, Pastor Geneva Alexander and yours truly, Prophetess Darlene Spraglin. We're so excited that you tuned in tonight with us. We are so excited to be back. And so we are looking forward to our teacher tonight, yours only pastor tonight, Pastor Geneva Alexander, who is my pastor mom. Uh, our opening scripture is coming out of Daniel, and it's going to be the 11th chapter in the 32nd verse, and it reads, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall be corrupt by flatteries, but the people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. May the Lord bless the reader and the hearer of his word. Let us pray tonight. Gracious Father, we truly thank you for this opportunity to come once again to this platform just to say thank you, thank you for all that you are and all that you do for us. Yes. Thank you for keeping us in our right minds and thank you for watching over us as we slumbered and slept last night. Thank you for a brand new day filled with your new promises, your new mercies and your promises or yea and amen and god we thank you today god for keeping us from all evil hurt harm and danger we thank you for our families god we thank you oh god for our church families lord we thank you for our pastors oh god and the the shepherds over your flock god we thank you right now master as we go into the Bible study tonight, first of all, that you will forgive us for our sins, yes, the sin of commission and omission. Forgive us for that sin that so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. God, we pray that you would, oh God, lead us down into the deep treasures of your word, yes. that your word will be planted in good ground and good soil, and that your soil will bear fruit and that the fruit will mm -hmm. remain, yes, God, yes. in the name of yes. Jesus. Bless the teacher tonight, God. Yes, God. Anoint her with a fresh anointing with your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that you would teach the lesson yes. through her, God. Yes. Let her be hidden behind the cross of your son. Let none of her flesh glory in your yes, presence. God. Lord, let us get, oh God, understanding. Let it be fruitful, God. Let it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, pour out and pour into us yes, God. that we will become kingdom builders, oh God, and that we would, oh God, go out and minister to the lost, yes. go out and minister to the backslidden, yes. go out and yes. minister to the saints who need to be edified, yes, God, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Yes. Lord, I feel you already have your way in have this place. Like, oh, never before, God, meet the need on the line yes, as people God. come on, Please. as they come to study your word, as they come yes. to get to know you more intimately. Yes. God, I pray, God, that someone be saved yes. tonight. Yes, God. Someone will be reclaimed tonight. Yes. Have mercy on the sick and the shattered. Yes. Have mercy, yes. God, yes. on the bereaved families, God. Have mercy, have oh mercy, God. God, for those who are fighting for their lives have tonight. Mercy tonight. Have mercy tonight, yes. God. We need you yes. and we can't we need you. get along without you. We, need you. we thank you right now, Master, for yes. what you're done doing and what you're about to do. We stand in awe yes. and we stand in expectation yes, God. in the name of, Jesus. name of Jesus. We ask it all in Jesus' name. We decree it and we declare being so. And it is so and so it is in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Sister Curly Smooth is online. God bless, bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, you're going to be in the hands of our own teacher tonight, my pastor, Pastor Geneva Alexander. God bless you. Thank you, Prophetess Spraglin. Uh, obedience to God and to all of you who are tuned in with us tonight. We thank God for this another day, another opportunity to teach his word. We don't claim to be such an awesome teacher, but we do know that we love God and we love his word. 
Yes. And you have to love him and you have to love his word because that's him. Yes, that is so him. So tonight we're going to let you know who you really are. I found out that a lot of people don't know who they are in God. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Our subject is um, uh, chosen people, God's chosen people. Amen. God has people, but all of them are not chosen. Okay. And so we're going to find out those of us who are chosen, it's going to help us. Amen. Amen. And, and enlighten us. Amen. Amen. And that's what I want to do tonight is to enlighten people because we really don't know just who we are. Our um, lesson is coming from uh, 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10. Again, 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10. Okay. And it reads as thus, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, mm -hmm. which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Praise God. God bless you. But ye are a chosen generation. But ye, he's, when he said he was the word ye, he's talking directly to you. But ye are a chosen generation. We are a chosen nation to be fixed upon a race of people that he himself has called out of darkness. God called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Uh, we are his own chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of God. That means that we are really somebody. Mm, yes. We're to we're to let people know who we are. And we can't do that unless we know who we who are. We are right. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we're, we 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 we're going to get into it like this. We okay, we are chosen so that we can help choose some more for God's people. Right. Right, that's good. That's what we're chosen for. Right. To do his will, mm -hmm. to live his ways, to acknowledge him as who he is, the God of everything. Right. And so it's an honor to be chosen by a great big God. Yes, it is. For yes. us little bitty people. Yes, it is. To do a great work. Work like God. Yes. With God Almighty. Yes. We're yes. chosen. Amen. We are Amen. chosen. All right, we're going to read, uh, read uh, St. John 15 and 16. St. John 15, we're walking through the scriptures. Yes, we are. We want to do St. John 15. 15, 16. And 16. And it reads, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. My God. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in the in my name, he may give it you. Mm -hmm. We didn't choose God. Mm -hmm. He chose us. Right. Even before we were conceived in our mother's womb, God had already handpicked us. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Hand picked us mm -hmm. out of many other nations. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just took his time and picked us out of other nations. Yes. He selected us from and preferred us above others. Mm -hmm. We are his elex. 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 Uh huh. Collectively, deliberately singled out. Aren't you glad God singled you out? Yes. 
handpicked you. You remember when we was in school and we was playing ball, <laughs> and what happened was we would always want to get on the best team. Right. And we'd be saying, oh, I hope she picked me. I right. hope she picked me. Oh, I hope she chose me. And they'll pick right all around you. Right. And you're mm -hmm. waiting to be picked. Right. Come on. Come on. But God had already picked us. Yes. Even before we was consumed in our parents, who God in our mother's yes, womb. Yes, yes. Thank God. And so I'm glad that God chose me. I am too. Out of all that he could have used, he chose, he chose me. me. Aren't you glad that he chose you? Yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. yes. Oh, good God Almighty selected you. Good God Almighty. God is an awesome God. Singled you out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Called you by your name. Yes, he did. Even though you were named. Come on. <laughs> he called you by your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for choosing us. Amen. Yes. yes. Let's go to 1 Peter 2 and 5. Oh, All right. 2 and 5. 1 Peter 2 and 5 said, Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood. Mm -hmm. To offer up the spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Now we now we are somebody, y'all. We just not know anybody. Right. But we are a royal priesthood. Priesthood. Thank you, Lord. We hold the rank of a king, a queen, or other mournouts. We're in the service of a kingdom befitting royalty, mm -hmm. stately, mm -hmm. and superior. Praise you, Jesus. We're not just no anybody, but we are royal. And we got to be careful what we do, mm -hmm. how we do, right. when we do, and who we do it with. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful. We have to be guarded. Mm -hmm. Because we are from the royalty family. Right. Good God Almighty. He right. made us royalty. Mm -hmm. And good God, aren't you glad? So you can't run with any and everybody. That's true. You can't do everything you see everybody else do. That's true. Oh, you got to be what? Secluded from all of that stuff that's right. not royal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good God Almighty. Right. See, when we was out there in the world, we could do anything and everything with anybody and everybody. Right. But when he had picked us, we became royal. Yes. He washed us in the royaltiness of his blood. Good yes. God of mine. Mm. Good God of mine. And therefore, we are different. Yes. We are different. You never see royal people mixed up with just ordinary folk. That's true. Royalty runs with royalty. Right, right. And so we as Christians, that's what we have to do. Yeah. We have to run with royalty. royalty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Make sure that the people have the same mind that you have, mm -hmm. the same ideas that you have, right. and the same customs that you're used to. Yes. Good God am I. You want to say something, Prophet? I, I was just thinking about what you said. Royalty <laughs> runs with royalty, and you don't see queens or kings running with peasants. peasants. No, you don't. You, you don't. Because they know who they are. Uh -huh. And they know who they are. They are. That's it. And we have to know who we are. Right. And whose we are. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, um, it's just like being dressed up for Easter. You have your best outfit on and your mother would not allow you to play in your best outfit. No, I didn't. You couldn't <laughs> wear and scuffle up those shoes or that dress. You wouldn't have to go in and change clothes or put on some play clothes. The same thing when you bought your school clothes. You had to go and wear those school clothes to school. Right. You couldn't come home and play in the school clothes. Mm -hmm. You had to change your attire. Mm -hmm. And so when God handpicked us and took us out of darkness into his marvelous light, he shook us off. He mm -hmm. dusted us off. Yeah. He cleaned us off. And he dipped us in the blood of his son. Mm -hmm. And we became what? Royal priesthood. Right. We have priestly garments now. Mm -hmm. We have to what dress in our attire. We can't look like where we've been. No, you can't. Uh -uh. We have to have a change of mind and a change of heart, a change of attitude, a change of disposition. Right. 
we got to learn how to walk in our new what royal. royal. Yes. In our new royal. That's it. That's yeah. New royal. Mm -hmm. You can't, like I say, you just don't run with any and everybody. No. no. Okay. And then he says we are a, a priest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hold the characteristics of an office. Yes. Okay. Or a vocation mm -hmm. of a priest, which is clergy. Yes. Now, it doesn't mean that we have to be a preacher. Everybody got to be a preacher. Mm -hmm. No, no. But well, the characteristics of the preacher. Mm -hmm. That's good. Of the priest. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so that's, we, that's why we can't associate with any and everything. Mm -hmm. Because we now, what, carrying the characteristics mm -hmm. of a, what, priest. Mm -hmm. Now, all priests are not right, just like all preachers are not right. Amen. That's true. You know, the devil got some people out there preaching, too. That's true. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, and all of this started back in the days, way back then. Way back then. And so what happened is we are selected for this time mm -hmm. and this purpose, for this season. This mm -hmm. is our season. And so while we're in our seasons, let us act and react the way God has called us to act. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's go to another scripture now. We're going to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh-huh. Through 10. Went straight to it. 7 and 6. Yes. Yeah. 7 and 6. Okay. 7 and 6 through 10. And it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself mm -hmm. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people, mm -hmm. for ye were the fewest of all people. See? But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of a house of bondmen bond from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. My God. And repayeth them that hate him to their face, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, to their face, to destroy them, ye will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Mm -hmm. I got it. Is that it? He said six to ten. Uh -huh. yes. uh, read the verse 15. Verse 15 says, and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. My God. Wow. My God. My God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that scripture again. The Lord wow. said somebody didn't get it. So that's Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 10, and, and verse 15. Mm -hmm. Y'all read the, these scriptures and go over them again, and you'll, you'll get a revelation from them that I'm not getting right now. Okay, he's calling us a holy nation. We are a holy people. God told us to be ye holy, for our he is holy. Yes. Belonging to a derived or from and associated with uh -huh, a divine power. That's what that means. Sacred reverence living according to the strict and highly moral religious or spiritual system saintly, specified, or set apart for a religious purpose. Mm -hmm. We are set apart for a religious purpose. purpose. See, there's purpose in ministry. Yes, it is. There's purpose in being saved and yes, sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. There is purpose to call somebody else to be saved. Yes. There is purpose in living a righteous and an upright life. Yes. God Almighty. Yes. Purpose. A spiritual system. That's what we're under. A spiritual, a spiritual system. system. We're not mm -hmm. under this system that 
that, that, that these presidents have brought forth and all this mess that's going on now. We're under the spiritual system of God. Yes. He's leading us. He's guiding us. He's teaching us. He's He's raising us up. Come on. Right. Yeah. Right. We're set apart. Right. Not set aside, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't That's get good. that. That's good. Don't, don't, don't get that mixed up. We're set apart set for apart. here. Not set aside to do what we want to do. Right. When we want to do it. Mm -hmm. But we're under that Christian that spiritual, spiritual system, mm -hmm. which is called saintly. Mm -hmm. That's who we are. We're somebody in God. It's God of mine. Oh, bless his name. Now I'm going to the next one. I'll let you got something to say on that. I, I, I want to stay right there with the spiritual system. Uh, you know, like you said, we're set apart, not set aside. Yes. Um, a lot of times, like you said, people, when they come and they unite with a, a um a church mm -hmm. ministry, um, they think that when they give themselves into the church, mm -hmm. that they only get to come on Sunday morning and be saintly and live any kind of way throughout the week. Yeah, you can't do it. And what happened is when God has set us separate, He set us apart mm -hmm. that we will be His priesthood, mm -hmm. that we would be His people. And that we would walk uprightly before him. Mm -hmm. And when you have really given your life over to God, you don't have a desire to do those things you used to do. I mean, it's just like you don't have a desire to be the way you used to be. Some of us came from some hellish backgrounds. Oh, yes. Do you think I want to go back to the hellish stuff that I came out of? No. I don't want to get beaten down. I don't want to get beaten up. I, I, I want to be who God called me to be and live like he wants me to live. Mm -hmm. So I can, what, receive the benefits mm -hmm. and the blessings and the blessings yes. that he have already set aside for me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was thinking just the other day, I was laying in my bed and this thought fell in my spirit. And it's like I had this vision that night and I asked the Lord a question. And he's, I asked him, I said, well, how come nobody ever goes through that door? Like I was on a tour in heaven. Hmm. And he said, because nobody asked. And I said, oh, so if I have to ask to go into this particular access, then that means that I have the authority to go inside there because I'm asking you. And the angel said to me, yeah. Then I put to the test. I said. There are some body parts that I need. Hmm. And I said, so you, if you have this particular room for this, surely you have body parts. Uh, surely you have um, things that people don't always ask for. Yeah. We ask for materialistic things that we can see, but we don't ask for spiritual things. Right. We don't ask for, um, Lord, um, I need a new uh, kidney. I need a new limb. I need uh, better eyesight. I need better hearing. We don't ask God for stuff like that. So I said, Lord, I'm, I'm going to ask you because I need a body part. I, in fact, I said there's a couple of body parts that was taken from me. And I said, now I want those body parts back. But I want them supernaturally. If I have access to this door, then I want it supernaturally. And so I'm waiting on the supernatural blessing. Because if you go fight for me and fight, for, fight with me with my enemies, you said I'll be with you always and I will never leave you nor forsake you. And we just read over in Deuteronomy of that 15 verse. So that means that I have access to your blessings and your benefits. And I'm going to stand on those things that I'm praying for. We'll pray for a job. We'll pray for a promotion. We'll pray uh, uh, some of us to get married. We'll pray for this, that, and the other. But we won't pray for spiritual blessings. We won't pray for stuff that we... 
uh, can't see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. So we have the power. Yeah, we do. We're what? God's chosen people. That's it. He's placed his power inside of us. So we have a right to ask. And yes, we do. We have a right to ask. That's right. He said, ask me of the Lord, whatever you want. Yes. Yeah, you need asking because what? He's our provider. Yes. And so what happens is, uh, but you got to be in a right position. Come on. Before we can ask God for some things. Yes. Come you on. Know, because what happened is some of us live so raggedy lives and we call mm. ourselves Christians. And uh, we, uh, this is why a lot of times we don't get things because we're not living in in his his realm, not living what, what he told us to live and how right. he told us to live. We, we want to do what we want to do and do it our way, the way we want to do it. No, we have to do it God's way. Come on. You have to humble yourself and keep humbling, asking God for things. You can't just say, God, give me this. You know, you can't do that. God, and then what happened is if you live in right, you don't have to ask for nothing. He'll just give it to you. He'll give it to you. He'll, he'll, he'll just give you things you want. You won't even think, think or ask. ask. Oh, right, exactly. Amen, amen, amen. All right, God bless you. Let's move on. Um, let's go to Deuteronomy. I think that I just get that. So we just did Deuteronomy 7, 6, 10, 15. Okay, let's do Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Okay, back to Deuteronomy. We still did it now. And you said, That's Deuteronomy 14 and 2. And we're going to talk about a peculiar people. Okay. I was going to go right back to that. 14 and 2 says, And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God had we died in this wilderness? Hmm. That's it. That's it, 14 and 2. All right. A peculiar people. Now, we're unusual. Uh, we're eccentric. Hmm. We're odd. Yeah. Standing apart mm -hmm. from others. Hmm. Distinct and peculiar. Mm -hmm. mm. Exclusive. Unique. Unique. Belonging, uh huh, and primarily, distinctively, or primarily, excuse me, okay, to one person. Good God Almighty. Did y'all hear that? Can you do that again? This, we are what? Peculiar? Mm -hmm. Exclusive? Exclusive. Unique? Unique. Belonging, distinctively, Belonging. or Primarily, come on, belonging instinctively and primarily, uh huh, uh huh, to one person, to one person, group or kind. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are private property. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness! I hope y'all are getting Ooh, this. That's good. Private property. We are private property. Don't touch this. You mm -hmm. can't touch this. <laughs> that's what God is saying. Oh, Amen. Yes. Peculiar people. Peculiar. Shanda Koda the Lobo Shanda. Yeah, God. We're peculiar. We don't act like everybody else. Mm -hmm. We don't go where everybody else go. We don't say what everybody else say. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come There's on. some Christians got some filthy mouths. Oh my. Mind. And they need to clean them up. My, my, my. Oh, God, God need to clean our mouths out. Because we, we, we're saying the wrong things, and, and, and we don't need to say that. Right. Because we are private property. Yes. And when you are private property, can't nobody bother you. You don't let nobody bother you. No, you don't. Amen. No, you don't. Amen. And so, y'all think about that. Think about that. Because we're peculiar. That's what God's saying. We're peculiar. We're peculiar. Let's go on to the next one, unless you got something to say. No, I'm going to hold that one. All right, let's go to Acts 17, 28. Acts 17, 28. Mm -hmm. I hope you all are getting something from this because you know what? I got a lot out of this when I was getting it for myself. I said, God, I see me in here. And I'm sure you're seeing yourself in here also. Did you say 17, 28? 17, 28. Acts 17, 28. Okay. And then get ready for Job 12 and 10. Okay, 
For in him we live and move and have our being, mm -hmm. as certain also of our own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. Give God a mic. <laughs> we are his offspring. Go ahead and read Job 2, 12 and 10. Okay, I'm giving you time. Job 12 and 10. 12. Twelve and ten. Okay, Job twelve and ten. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing? Good God Almighty. And the breath of all mankind. Mm -hmm. Now that goes to show you that he's ownership. We're his offspring, y'all. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We're his offspring. Uh, we are. We are his people. We are a person. And we are his children, his descendants, the results of creative effect, his product, and his alone. Amen. His product. We are his product. We're his offspring. We come from him. He created us in his own image, after his own likeness, and then he blew into us his breath, and we became living souls. We are his offspring. Mm -hmm. I know I, my mother used to tell, uh, tell be careful and, and, and watch what you do, because you know what? You represent me. <laughs> and not only that, you are my offspring. <laughs> and I didn't know what you talking about, offspring, but, but the same thing. I represent her. I came from her. And so this is what we got to understand. We came from God. Mm -hmm. He was the one that created us. He was the one that blew breath into us and we became living souls. We was lying there dead and nothing, what what moving, couldn't move or do anything. Why? Until he breathed his breath in us. And we started breathing. Right. And everything that he had in him, good God Almighty, from his breath when he breathed it into us. We received it. Good it God was deposited in us. It was deposited in us, and it still is in us. Those right. of us are yet living. Good right. God Almighty. You know, Pastor, you know what? And the thing about it is, when he blew into us and he deposited everything, everything was that in was him. in him yes, came into in us, us right. we need to start exercising that. Right. Because he gave us that power. A lot of people don't know they have that power. A lot of people don't know that they have the authority to use it. And the thing is, if you don't use it, you lose it. Amen. But you got to know that you got access to it. That's it. And not only that, you got to have the right spirit up in you. You can't use you it. You won't the right you spirit. won't be able to use it if you don't have the right spirit. That's it. But when you have the right spirit, and you've been asking the Lord to show himself to you, and he's been saying, oh, I've been waiting on you. Mm -hmm. The thing is, start utilizing the authority. Right. You got to believe, first of all, that you got it. That's it. Because a lot of people don't believe they have it. Well, they don't have it if they don't believe it. How can you have something and you don't believe you got it? So what happened is, the thing about it is, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, mm -hmm. you shall receive power. Right. And this is what a lot of people don't have. They believe Christ, but they don't have the Holy Ghost. Okay. See, the Holy Ghost makes the whole difference mm -hmm. in all of this. Okay. You don't have no power until you what? Get the Holy Ghost. Right. You okay. have the belief. You know, you, you believe God, but yet you've got to get the downward pour. Right. And that downpour is the Holy Spirit. And sometimes you get it right away, and sometimes you have to what wait on it. You have to wait on it sometimes. Then he sent them up into the upper room and, right. and have them to wait. wait. They waited what, 120 days, was it? 100 and some 20 days? They waited it was, on No, it was 50 days, wasn't it? No, it wasn't it 50 okay. days? And it was 120 that was there. There, 120. I'm getting confused. Yes. It was but they mm -hmm. waited for the Holy Ghost to shower them, mm -hmm. to come down on them. And see, a lot of people don't wait for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They get saved. Well, I'm saved, and that's it. And they go ahead on. 
But sometimes you have to seek for the Holy Ghost. Yes. You have to look for the Holy Ghost. You mm -hmm. got to wait on the Holy Ghost. And so a lot of people, they because they don't have that keeper, that's what it, the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is, a keeper. And they don't have it, they go back into what? Doing the same thing that they was doing before they received Christ. Stop right there. When you get the Holy Spirit and you utilize that authority and God shows up and he does miraculous things, it's like you be in awe and you can't wait to do something else. That's right. You want to test this test this car for a, another drive. You, yeah. you, you, you want to test it again because mm -hmm. you get so excited about it. That's it. Because what happens is you know it ain't you doing it. Exactly. You know it's him. Exactly. exactly. What he's doing through you. Exactly. Oh my God. I, I tell you, God has done some awesome things through me. And it's 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 well, it's a little frightening, not not to be afraid, afraid, but it's like, God, you mean you use little old me to do this? Mm. You know, when I laid hands on a woman that had cancer and she got up, went to the doctor and found out that the cancer had gone. Come on. You know, that's not you and right. that's not me. Right. But it's the spirit of the Holy Spirit. Right. Exactly. Coming through you. Right. Because we don't have no power. Ah. Only that the power that God allow us to have. That's all we have. And I, I, I've laid hands on a dead person and they rose up. God used me to do that. That was not me. That right. was the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Come on. You know, I got online today and I was listening. Um, to some of the praise reports, and this happened before my stroke, and I didn't know it until just recently. And the young lady hit me back. She was in prison, and she needed to agree with us about her release from parole and. And she was looking at doing an additional seven years had she not gotten parole. And what happened was, she said, I just had to write you all back to let you know that I got parole. Mm. I didn't have to do the seven years. Thank you, God. They were looking at giving, throwing the book at me. And I'm like, oh my God, but what did you do, Jesus? But God. But God. I, you don't get the glory. No. But God. 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 To God be the glory. And I yes. said, God, look at you. And so what happened is she said, I just had to tell y'all. Because a lot of times people get blessed and they don't come back and tell nobody. No, they, don't. they don't. But I was okay. just so grateful to God that he would use little insignificant in us yes, that's to do it. something, a great uh, a, a miracle for somebody else. We had nothing to do with it. It was called uh, what, coming together and agreeing. That's all. And praying. And praying. That's all. Yeah. And see, God does the work. But you got to what? Be in agreement. Right. <laughs> you got to agree with, with, with each other. God will do awesome things, you know, through you. Yeah. When you believe. And then when you live right. When you live right. Oh, my God. When you live right. Let's go to the, uh, our next scripture is 1 Peter 2 and 10. You've already read it, but read it again. Okay. I have to go back over to First Peter mm -hmm. 2 and 10. But ye, I'm sorry, um, which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. My God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Oh, he called us out of darkness, characterized us. Mm -hmm. by producing bloom, dismal, sudden, and threatenings hard to understand, mm -hmm. obscure. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Mm -mm. Concealed, secret. This, these are the things that he brought us out of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Uh, mysterious without no knowledge mm -hmm. or enlightenment, uncivilized, mm, evil Jesus. or wicked, closed, absence of light. Yes. Mm, my God. Oh, okay. I, I'm a state or in a state of ignorance. Mm. 
Mm, he's calling us out all of that. Oh, yeah. Thank in you, secret things Thank done you, in the dark. Thank you, Lord. Uninformed. Thank you, Lord. Now, look, in secret things done in the dark. Yes. Un. What? Born. Uninformed. Now, he called us out of all of that stuff. Why are we going back into it? You don't want to go back. If you have really sold out to God, yes, you will not go back. Yes. And a lot of people that don't know the, the reason why they do things because they don't know any better. Mm. Because a lot of people will tell you, God will forgive you for anything and everything. Yes, he will, except what? The soul that sit it. No, except what? Okay, let's move on. Well, now, no, 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 sit right there. The soul that sinned it shall what? Surely die. Yeah, surely die. Right. We're not, we're not there. But oh, he'll God. call you out of dark. It, he forgive you for everything except blaspheming. Blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. That's the one I'm looking for. Blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And what happens is a lot of people have been misled on saying God will forgive you for everything. Mm, that's and people will go and sin. And they'll come back and they'll ask God to forgive them. And some of them don't even ask forgiveness. Right, exactly. And just take up where you left off. I'm talking about people in high positions. Right, exactly. They 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 playing with God. My Lord Jesus. And God is not a play pretty, as my mama used to say. No, a play he's, pretty, not a, he's not a play pretty. Which means a play thing. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be very careful. Now, he didn't call us out of our mess. Right. Why would we want to go back into the mess? Mm -hmm. The mock, mm -hmm. the mud. Ooh. You know what, Pastor? My heart went out to a lot of people at the beginning of the pandemic, how that the death angel was ruling across the world. Yeah. Not just this nation. No, a world. Around the world. Mm -hmm. And it was several pastors mm -hmm. who lost their lives. Yeah. And it was several of them who went on record on their deathbed telling people, repent. Yes. Yes. It was several of them. It was a minister here in Dallas that left with his congregation that, I'm sorry. Hmm. Now, you're the leader. You're supposed to be leading us. Right. But you were in a position of rebellion. Mm -hmm. But God gave you the opportunity to breathe it out of your mouth to say, God, forgive me. Right, right. Some there were some it. who didn't get that they chance. They didn't get that chance. That's right. They didn't get that chance. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is, like you said, when God has delivered you from something, why would you want to go back and pick that up? No. Don't you know when your house has been cleaned out? And what happened is you turn around and go back to doing what you used to do. You picking up seven more evil spirits along with the one you had before. That's why, right, yeah. And it's worse than it was before. Exactly. That's what the Bible says. Yes, it did say that. It did. Amen, amen. All right. Uh, it says, when we know, let's say, okay, when we know to do better, then we shall do better. Mm -hmm. Now that we do know, God is holding us accountable. Wow. See, if you didn't know, God had, had, had excused you. But now that you know, no. yeah. you're not excused anymore. My Lord Jesus. Like, he's holding you accountable. Because a lot of people don't teach this kind of stuff because of the fact that when you are guilty, you can't teach it. You uh -huh. only can teach this kind of stuff when you are not guilty. Yeah, guilt free. Guilt free mm -hmm. of these things. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole lot of things. We'll get into that. That's another lesson about the things that we shouldn't be doing. In, we should be involved in. Right. Okay. So when we know better, we'll do better. Amen. Right. Amen. All right. Let's go uh, to Acts 15, 11 through 14. 15, 11 through 14. Mm -hmm. 15. Acts 15. But ye believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. Then all the multitude kept silent 
and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring that miracles and wonders God had wrought among the Gentiles by them. And after they held, I'm sorry, and after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simon have declared how God at first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written. I'll go on 16. No, that's good. Okay. All right. Now, what is happening in here? We are God's special people. Again, special. Uh, special people. We, 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 we're, we're surpassing what is common mm -hmm. and usual, distinct among others of a kind, of the same kind. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, this is why we can't just let ourselves go and let ourselves be what everybody else is. That's true. A lot of people see folks and say, I want to be just like that. No, you don't. Because mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you don't know how they really are. No. Because see, if people, we can put on a good face. We can put on a good act. But you got to know that person that you're dealing with. That's true. They have to have the same kind of spirit that you have. Right. And it's called that if you don't have it, ask God to give you discernment of spirit because you need to know that. That's wisdom. Yes. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so when you ask for discernment of spirit, he will let you know what spirit that that person have in them. That's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know what? You can feel when a person is not like you. Right. That's true. Because you can feel it. It, 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 it comes on real strong. Mm -hmm. And a person that is like you is kind of meek. And you know what? You have to kind of get to really know them. Right. Amen. Because their spirit is so meek. That that, that 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 and you've been used to all these other spirits coming at you. You won't know the real one. So ask God for what discernment of spirit. Discernment of spirit. And so get ask God for wisdom. If you lack wisdom, ask God because He has all of it. Yes, He does. He got all of it. Amen. Amen. All right, we're gonna move right on. We're gonna move right on. We're gonna move right on. We just about finished. We might not finish this tonight, but we're gonna try to finish. And let's go. Uh, let's go to uh, Proverbs 11 and 25. Proverbs 11 25. 11 25. And also do, do uh, 11 30. 11 25 Proverbs. And it says, the liberal soul shall be made fat. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he that water it shall be watered also himself. Mm -hmm. And you said 30? 30. Mm -hmm. And 30 says, the fruit of the of righteous is a tree of life. Yeah. And he that winneth souls is wise. Good God Almighty. Now, 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 now. Knowing now that we are God's special people, God is looking for some fruit. Now, he ain't talking about no apples and oranges and peaches and bananas and watermelons and cantaloupe. That's not the kind of fruit he's looking for. He's looking for souls. Right. He's looking for people that will accept him mm -hmm. and come and join his army. Yeah. Amen. Righteousness gives life and violence take it away. Yes, it does. To win souls. Uh-huh. That's what we're here for. To win souls. To win souls, y'all. And you know what? We we will talk about everything and everybody except get, give, giving them the word to come to Christ. Right. Exactly. Amen. I, I'm, I'm going to hit some people. We'll, you know what? We should be excited as those people are that go out to them ball games mm -hmm. <laughs> about winning souls. I'm going to hit my son in love now. <laughs> we are, you know, he... You know, the ball games, they can't even stay in church. After one o'clock, you got to dismiss or else the whole church going to be gone anyway. Because <laughs> they got to go see them cowboys, especially here. <laughs> well, that's everywhere. Whatever game is playing, 
they have to get up and go see. Oh, yeah. and, th and and you know what? They will they'll they'll holler and scream and jump and go around and do all this kind of turn flips and everything. But they won't witness. <laughs> they won't talk. They won't tell nobody about Jesus. They won't mm -hmm. tell nobody how they got saved. They won't tell nobody. Come on. Yeah, right. But when you get saved, that's the first thing you want to do. Your conversation is always holy. Your conversation is always about what God has done for you or his, his name will come up in the conversation. If you got him in you. If you have him in you. Come on, it's going to come. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pop up. And, 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 and if somebody tell you that, ooh, you know, I had a pain, I said, but baby, God healed me. I, I, I'm a living witness. He's a healer. Right. I am a true witness that he's a healer. Right. And so the thing about it is, like you said, we'll discuss the cowboy man. That man got down to the goal line and didn't cross it. You know, and then Christ's name never come up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But when you are a Christian, after a while, he gonna he gonna sneak mm -hmm. out. He, he gonna come out. He gonna pop out. He can't because you out. You can't hold it. You can't hold him in. You gonna pop out. And I know, I know they get tired of me talking about Jesus sometimes when they be looking at them stories and stuff. But you know what? I, 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 that story. I say what I need to say and I'm through. But I, 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 we got to learn how to be as bold as other people are yes. about that ball game. If we could be as bold as people are about the ball, don't you know a lot of folks would be saying? Right. Oh, good God. I'm going to get off that. My son in love is looking at me. Okay. <laughs> And God is looking for, that's the fruit that he's looking for, souls. He that winneth souls is it's wise. Mm -hmm. You're wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Yes. Wise. Oh, my God. Good God Almighty. Let's go. Let me see where am I next. Let's go to, let's go to Matthew 10, 16. Okay. Matthew. Yeah. Matthew 10, 16. Okay, and it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay, so I already said that, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay, I send you forth as sheep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? And, 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 and let me tell you, sheep are meek and humble. They're not like dogs or anything else. They, they got their own personality. And they're they're meek and humble, and that's what we have to do. We are sheep, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be right in the midst of wolves. Those people out there that don't believe in God, those are the wolves. They're gonna come against you. But if you got God in you and got enough of Him in you, you will tell them where they're going. That's true. If they don't accept Jesus Christ, baby, you right. doomed. You're going to hell. That's just that simple. And a lot of people don't want you to tell them that, well, yeah, well, you that's where you're going. Until if you don't accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are hell bound. bound. Yeah. You are hell bound. He made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Yes, he when did. he went to the cross, suffer, bled, and died, he gave his life that we might have eternal life. And yes. if you don't have your life in God's life, you are going to hell. Right. That's just that simple. Amen. It's just an awesome gift to receive. And what happened is. People, they don't believe that uh, a man could do that. But what happened is he was half God and half man. That's right. what they called him, the son of man. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is he gave his life. He right. laid it down freely for us. And it's really sad that some people can't grasp that. It's just like me giving you this gift. And what happened is. What you do with the gift, whether you open it or not, I gave you the gift. Now it's up to you to unwrap the gift and receive it. It's better for you to unwrap it, receive it, and then start believing because what I've given you what the, the gift. gift. Mm -hmm. God gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. But yeah. that Everlasting life. They should not. They, they should not. Mm -hmm. if, and so what happened is, I'd rather have him than not to have him. Oh, yes. I'd yes. rather have him and rather not to have him. I'd rather believe yeah. than not to believe. Mm -hmm. 
Because what happened is if, if you take some time, we watch everything else on Facebook and YouTube and what is television, TikTok whatever. and everything, lock, lock, whatever the things are. But the thing about it is read some of the testimonies of some people who have died and God brought them back, back to life. Yeah. You, you, you would be changed by some of the testimonies that you hear from people who have experienced near death or death experiences. And nobody but God could do that. Nobody but God. Nobody but God could That's do that. That's right. That's right. All right, let's move on. My client, my, my son in law is giving me um countdown. he's giving us countdown. Now we know that uh who we are. I hope you've learned tonight who oh, we yeah. are. We need to know what God expects of us. Yes. Come on, let's let's go there. All right. Uh -huh. God saved us that we might save others. Mm -hmm. He invited us to go into his vineyard to work. Mm -hmm. now, 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 a lot of people are not doing no work. Right. They saved, but they ain't working. Mm -hmm. God saved us to work in his vineyard. He said whatever was right that he would pay. Mm -hmm. God wants us to be holy. Mm -hmm. First Peter go to it, 116. He wants us to be holy. For he says, be ye holy, for I am holy. And when you are holy, there is supposed to be no wrong in you at all. Because mm -hmm. God don't have no wrong in him. Right. And 1 Peter 1.16 says, that's what you just said, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Mm -hmm. And you read that for yourself. Okay. All right. Now, go, go. If you get 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Six. Yeah, now this is good. Nine through eleven. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, mm -hmm. nor adulterers, nor uh, was it effeminate, effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, mm -hmm. nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall enter the kingdom of God. God and such were some of you, mm -hmm. but ye are washed, God but ye are sanctified, Come on. but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Good God that is wow, yes. Now, I want y'all to look at that and get that because that's what we are. Okay, that's what God wants us to be. He, he wants a sanctified life. That's what he wants. He wants a sanctified life, a set-apart life. Uh, uh, he wants us to be clean, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're clean through the blood of Jesus. And once we've gotten clean, let's stay clean. Right. Let's don't go back and get uh, that filth all in our life again. Yes, exactly. A life that is set apart, mm -hmm. not set aside, y'all. Right. A life that is set apart from the world. Right. That's what he wants us to do. And so uh, 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 we have to obey him and respect him. Go to Hosea 14, 1 through 2. Hosea what, 14? 14, 1 through 2. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, take away all iniquity mm. and receive us graciously. Mm -hmm. So we, I'm sorry, so will we render the calves of our lips? Oh my God. God wants the fruit of our lips. That means testifying. That means praising him. That means talking to him. That means praying. Uh, he wants to hear how you love him. Mm. God is a God of love. And love loves love. Yes. Okay? Love, love, love. Everybody wants to be loved. If you don't want to be loved, something wrong with you. Okay. Everybody wants to be loved. Now, then why? Because God so loved the world that he gave a gift to the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and the Jews say he came in the body in the in the presence in a body. For us, he was the spiritual part of the body, and the uh, Jesus was the man, man part, part of the body. Mm -hmm. But he presented himself to us, and we have to present ourselves to him because that's what he will the fruit of our lips. Stop, start talking about the good things God is doing. The world can't get no better, y'all, if we don't help it to get better. Right. And the only way we can do that is talk about the goodness of God and stop talking about what's going on around us. Mm -hmm. Because God is greater than all of that. Yes, he, he can heal all of that. Yes, he he can, can turn that around. Yes, and only he him can do it. Yes, he but can. if we start praising him and thanking him and glorifying him, and he wants all of that. He, he loves adoration. Yes. Just like you like it. Yes. You like to be talked about and uh, talked to and all that kind of stuff. God, yes. he put that in us. Yes. So let's put it back in him with the fruit of our lips. Speak up for him. If we live right according to God's word, God will, God's will, God's way, then we will live in that perpetual place. Mm. Heaven. Heaven. Which is eternally lasting forever. An indefinitely long duration, God Almighty, clear, reported, continuing without interruption. No end. No end. No end. No end. Do, do you not know that you got to strive to make it into heaven? Yeah. It's not an easy way to get to heaven. It's a straight and a narrow way. It's a narrow highway. Yes. It's so narrow that you can't turn around on it. Wow. Ooh, Shundo, cool. That's I'm narrow. Saying. You can't turn around on it. And this is why it's so narrow. Mm -hmm. It's a straight and a narrow way. We cannot turn around once we head that way. Okay. Because mm -hmm. what? There's no room to turn around. If you don't, if you do, you're going to fall. Wow. And God, you can't make it to heaven. Mm. If you don't live right. Saints, we are somebody in God. You know what, Pastor? I was just thinking about one time I was on this particular bridge. I'm not going to call the name of it. But I was uh, tricked to drive. And I got on this bridge. It was so narrow. And it was only one way. And you couldn't turn around. Well, huh? uh, <laughs> you understand what you I'm saying? You couldn't turn around. That's like it. you said, if you did, you would have fell off. You would fall off. <laughs> It's a straight and a narrow way. And saints, let us remember that God is the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. That's who we need to follow. This is the last scripture, so y'all, let's get these. Psalms 78 and 12. Psalm 78. And 118, 22, and 23. Let me get Psalms 28 and 12. Psalms. 78 and 12. I hope that you somebody is being blessed tonight. I know that I'm being blessed. I was being blessed when I got this and not, but I've been knowing a long time who I who I am in Jesus. Know who you are in God. That's the whole thing. Know who you are. This is 78. 78 12. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt. In the field of Zion. Okay, go to 118, 22. And 118, 22. No, 23. 22 and 23. The stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone mm. of the corner. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. That's it. All of this is God's doing. All of this is God's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight, in our eyes. Making us, molding us, and shaping us into the Christians, to the, his folks, his people, his chosen ones. And when we get fixed up, we need to stay right. Yes. Don't go back out there and get yourself all muddied back again. Right. right all right, dug right. down into that awesome stinky mud amen amen let's do it right and live right and be right act right treat your neighbors right treat your family right just treat god right 
Just be the people God have called you to be. Yes. And you know what? If you don't know what he wants you to do, ask him. Whatever you need from God, you can ask God. Yes. And he will give it to you. I remember uh, well, I, my niece said to me, uh, she, you know, she calls me Jen. She called me Jen. She said, Jen, you know what? Do you know who God is? And I began to tell all the, the wonderful, glorious things that God is and all of that. And she said, no, he's, that's not him. I said, what you mean? That, that is him. <laughs> and she said, no, he's energy. And I said, well, yeah, he's that too. He made everything. He's that too. And so it bothered me because she thought she had found something that was so uh, awesome that nobody else had found. And that bothered me. I said, now, God, she's been reading the book. She found this book. And I said, God, now, I know you all those things that I said you was. Peace, love, joy, happiness, and all. I, I said, I just rattled it up. And so she said, no, I said, mm. so you know what? I said, God, God knows that that troubles my spirit. Mm. And so don't tell me God don't talk to you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He talks to you when you talk to him. Right. And I said, God, I sure know. I want to know why does she think that you are just energy when you got so many other attributes. Mm -hmm. And so he didn't answer me right then, but it was about two days later. I was lying in my bed and I was very quiet and still. And he whispered in my ear. I mean, he didn't whisper, he talked. I could hear him plainly. He says, He's above finding out. I said, Oh, thank you, God. That's it. I know that's it. You can't, you can't pinpoint him on no one thing. No. You know, he's everything. He's everything. Oh, he's my strong tower. My strength and the weakest of the hour. Yes. He's everything to yes. me. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. So you can't pinpoint him. He's that and more. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bless his name tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for this night. I hope that you have been blessed. I hope that you got something out. But just know who you are in God. Yes. Brag on who you are in God. Good God Almighty. Yes. Tell yourself, I am somebody. I am somebody. In God. In God. He chose little insignificant Thank me the Lord Jesus. to do what I'm doing. Thank you. When Lord. he could have chose somebody uh, else. Yes. But thank God he chose me. And I'm trying to do the best I can. Yes. To live right every single day. I check myself. Mm. When I say, when I think things, something wrong. I read it. It's, oh, God, forgive me. Where did that, that come, come from? from? Come on. Because, see, the, <laughs> devil, the devil will not, don't want you to go to heaven. Right. He wants you to go with him because he's doomed already. He's already. And so he's trying to get you to go with him. He's a lying one that I will not go with him. Right. Whatever it takes for me to stay in this line, right. walk in this walk, talk in this talk, right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Because I refuse to go to hell. Right. Because right. hell is not my home. Right. Heaven is my home, and I'm striving hard yes. to get there. To get there. Ooh, God bless you tonight, and God keep you. God bless you tonight, too, Pastor. Thank you for the lesson. And um, I hope that you all have been blessed. And I hope you found out that you're God's chosen. Chosen. People. It's a difference. That's right. Chosen. Handpicked. He handpicked you. Mm hmm for this time, yeah. for this season. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is now we got to be what? About our father's business. Yeah. And we can't be stagnated and we can't be, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, procrastinating. Yeah. And we can't be uh, offline. We got to be online. Oh, no, 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 no. Online all the time. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to break bread tonight, thank Master. You. We thank you for those, oh God, who came online. Thank you. Those who came and left and came back on and thank those you. who are still on. Yeah. Even the ones that's way in the back, God, is yes. not saying a Same. word. Thank you. We Lord. thank you for them tonight. Thank and we pray you. tonight, Master, that your word is seated into good ground and that the fruit will come up and remain. Yes. And God, we ask right now for those who don't know you, the pardon of their sins, yes. that they will come to your 
saving knowledge at this Savior. moment, Savior. at this yes, time. Thank yes. you. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I wish that you would repeat after me, dear Father, dear Father, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Forgive me, forgive me of my sins. Of my sins. I ask that you would wash me. I ask that you would wash, purge me, purge me, purify me, purify me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. He died on the cross for my sins. He died on the cross for my sins. He was buried. He was buried. He rose. He rose. And he ascended on high. And he ascended on high. Sitting on the right side of you. Sitting on the right side of you. Lord. Lord. Write my name. Write my name. In your book. In your book. Save me. Save me. From all my sins. From all my sins. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And it is so. And it is so. So it is. And so it is. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. God bless you. Have a wonderful week, a blessed week, a safe week. Be vigilant, watchful, because the devil desires to ship you as we. Yes. I'm going to ask for a special thing tonight. We do have um, uh, ways to be a blessing to the ministry. We are on Giveify and also on um, Cash App under Dollar sign, prop P R P T S S, capital P, lowercase r P T S S, capital D A S, lowercase P R A G, number eight. Prop Darlene Alexander Spraglin. And what happened is we are in the uh in the season because we're getting ready to have our prayer bowl that's coming up in um January. And so we are asking for donations to help us to do a great event for the Lord. And with your help, we can make our goal. And we want to just say thank you in advance already. And yes. hopefully you'll meet us here on Friday night. It's called Sunday School Golden Nuggets with uh, Prophetess Darlene Spraglin. Yours truly, along with my husband, Deacon David uh, Spraglin. He is our su Sunday School Superintendent. And we had a good time last week. And I'm sorry that there was a little malfunction in the video. The enemy did not want that lesson to go forward. Hmm. But guess what? It's an awesome lesson again this week. We're coming out of the expo uh, was the expositor illuminator um, Sunday school book along with the faith pathway Sunday school book. We're trying to meet the needs of everyone who comes online. We were all on one book, but now they split it up. So uh, will we, our main lessons come from the Bible Expository Illuminator. And we'll hit golden nuggets in the pathway. And then we'll get a um, commentary to be able to hit the general Sunday school lesson. Hopefully everybody's in the general lesson. And we want to meet uh, everybody, like I said, where they are. And we just want to say thank you again for tuning in. Madeline, God bless you, my sweetheart. Um, Madeline is online. And my mom and I, we pray for you today. We saw your online yes. uh, post uh, as you were at the hospital. And I tell, I tell you, the Lord met us in this place yes, for your mother. Yes, and we're yes. standing in agreement that God is going to wake her up yes. real soon. Real soon. And all of her activities of her limbs and her organs are all still far. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Ooh, yes, mm, they are amazing. still on normalcy. Mm -hmm. And her levels are all normal. Yes. I don't know if you guys ever ask your doctors to go over your numbers with you. You need to do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times doctors don't want you to know your numbers. But you have a right to know your numbers and how to get to those numbers where they're trying to meet you at. So you will be in partnership with your doctor. He don't get the chance to give you all the instruction and this, that, and the other. No, you need to know your numbers. Mm -hmm. And your numbers will help you stay on point for yourself. Yeah, It'll tell you, well, I better cut back on this. I better stop doing that. I better stop doing this. Trust me. Go and find out what your numbers are. God bless you tonight. There are so many people online. I want to make mention um, that Valerie Glosson told me to tell you, ooh, mother, you sure still look good. <laughs> and David Nesmith said the same uh, thing. Bless them, bless them. So anyway, God bless, bless you God. all. Bless God. 
and hope to see you again back next uh, Tuesday night for Walking in the Scriptures and Speaking the Truth with Pastor Geneva Alexander and yours truly. And meet us again on Friday night for the Sunday School Golden Nuggets. God bless you. We'll see you next week. God I'm sorry, you. this week and next week. Yes. Thank God you. bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. You didn't get no music to go out? Is it off? Yeah, it's just in. Because I can't see it upside down. I know. Well.